In the last video, I showed you how to use opposing viewpoints and context to get an overview of social media. And hopefully you were able to see some different aspects of the topic that would help you make a decision of whether or not you think social media is beneficial or harmful. But maybe you're looking for more information. If you are, I've got three more suggestions for you. If we scroll down here, you'll see them. The first two are article databases. The first one, U.S. Major Daily, is a newspaper database. So it includes newspaper articles from the 21 major U.S. newspapers. And those can be a great place to get examples um, or statistics or that sort of thing about current events. Um, you can also use it to get primary sources by looking back in time. The other article database I want to show you is called Academic Search Complete, and it is our biggest all-purpose database. You can see it's got more than 12,000 scholarly journals, so it's a great place to start your look for research on a topic. And then we also have the Cerritos College Library Catalog, which is where you can find all of the books and ebooks and streaming videos we have at the library. And I know you're thinking, I don't have time to read a book, but you've been looking at books. That was, was what was an opposing viewpoint for some of it. So books are great places to learn about a new topic. Streaming videos are fun. And if you um, want to find some books on your topic, if you scroll down, you'll see that we recommend subject searches or subject terms that you can use to search the library's catalog to find those books. But let's go into an article database to get started. I'll show you Academic Search Complete. And I'm just going to do a simple search. I'll start off with social media. And if I want to see, um, if I want to look at articles about social media and its impact on bullying, I can do a search like this. I have social media in quotes because it's important that those two words show up next to each other. Um, I have bullying in there, but I also have them connected by an AND all in capital letters. And that is giving a command to the search engine in the database to show me all of the articles that talk about social media and talk about bullying. So I have almost 3,000 results. If I scroll down, uh, the first thing I want to do is limit to full text, so I only get items that the library owns. And I see things going back to 2001. Um, I might decide that I want to um, narrow my search to articles just published recently. But we can kind of look through here and see like um, cyberbullying and children's unmonitored media violence exposure. Um, I was just talking about the relationship between cyberbullying and media violence. Um, da, 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 da. The relationship of cyberbullying and academic achievement. Should schools monitor your social media? Bullied to death, something in, in, in Time Magazine from 2010. So if you see one of these articles that looks interesting to you, you can click on the title. It'll give you a link to the full text over here. And once you have the full text, you can save it to Google OneDrive, to, sorry, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, print it, email it, and this little paper here is if you click on that, it's going to open up the citation. Here it is in MLA. But if we look back at the record for this, this article, what's interesting is they have these subject terms, which are tags. So if you wanted to find everything in this database on, say, cyberbullying, you can click that, and it's going to launch a whole new search. And then once again, I would limit to full text. And this can help you find a lot more information on your topic. Um, I might decide that I want to do, I want to focus on the social media and its power to help people organize. So I might look for things about social media and protest or protesters, right? This is talking about how the rise of social media affects the relations of protest communication, so how people communicate 
during um, public demonstrations. And so you can kind of see how, um, as you find research, you find the right words to use to describe what you're talking about, right? So do you, are you looking at social media and how it's used to organize people to come together physically? That would be public demonstrations, right? And this is talking about the power and limits of the new media on authoritarian um, governments. The hashtag mass protests. The impact of social networks on protests in Chile and Ecuador. And so you can see, you know, as you read these through the results, how you can continue to narrow your search. You could start, you could limit to, say, United States if you only wanted it to be in the United States. So this is talking about social media protests, um, civil unrest. So that is Academic Search Complete. U.S. Major Dailies, like I said before, is a newspaper database, so it's a good place to look for examples. So if I was still trying to talk about the impact of social media on um, organizing, I might decide so I might decide to make a search like this, social media and like the women's march or protests in general. And so this is going to give me some articles about that. And how this could talk about how um, maybe social media helped organize the protest, but then social media was also used to disorganize the protest, right? And just like the other databases, if I see something I like, I can save it as a PDF, I can click here for the citation, I can email it, I can print it. And last but not least, in our library catalog. Library catalog is a general um, you do a general search like you would do in Opposing Viewpoints. So I can see just like, you know, my very simple search. I get, you know, 3,000 results. But I might decide that I want to use one of these um, subject headings like cyberbullying. And what you're getting is you've got print materials, you have online materials like this one right here, and if you wanted something that was online, when you click on it, it's going to show you where you can find the full text. And you can even narrow to videos. So hopefully um, you'll find what you want using these databases. But if you don't, we have almost 100 more <laughs> databases that you can get to from this A to Z list. Um, or you can also look at them by subject. So you could think, oh, you know, who's interested in bullying? Psychologists are. I can look for a psychology database. But if you find all of that overwhelming, it's OK. All you need to do is click this little chat with the librarian link and you can get in touch with us right away and we'll help you figure out what the best database is um, for the aspect of the topic that you're researching. So um, hopefully this is all you need to complete um, your work for this class, but if it's not, feel free to reach out to us and we'll totally help you out.